Tonight, Speaker Nancy Pelosi's historic trip to Taiwan and the outrage over it from China. Pelosi receiving a big welcome as she becomes the highest ranking U.S. official to visit Taiwan in 25 years. The trip defying repeated warnings from the Chinese who claim the self ruled island as their own. Tonight, the worries inside the White House over the trip and how China is reacting, threatening a show of military might. Also tonight, new details on the U.S. strike that killed Al Qaeda leader Ayman al Zawawi, the new images, the safe house where he was killed, and President Biden in the Situation Room being briefed with a model of the hideout inside the months long operation. Days after the GOP moved to block a bill to help veterans exposed to burn pits, the New Deal announced today. The desperate search for survivors in the Kentucky floods, hundreds still unaccounted for. New images tonight, the harrowing rescues. The death toll growing in the largest wildfire to erupt in California this year. Inside the future of virtual reality, the technology you can touch, bringing the metaverse to life. And 15 years after we first took you on board this magic school bus, how it has inspired America's next generation of scientists. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. In a trip the White House fears is fraught with risk and viewed by China as a challenge to its sovereignty, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is beginning a new day in Taiwan, arriving overnight aboard a U.S. military VIP transport to the self-governing island, which China considers its territory. The speaker defying strong warnings against the visit from China's President Xi, as well as White House concerns about potential military confrontations. Speaker Pelosi becoming the highest ranking member of Congress to travel to Taiwan since 1997. In an op-ed just ahead of her short notice visit, Pelosi calling out China's is running for governor against Karen Taylor Robeson, who has the support of Mike Pence. Lake is already claiming a